Day three of boot camp now complete, and Nick Bootland, we're just a 24-hour span away from seeing these guys in action. What have you seen from the first three days? Well, a pretty high level intensity. You know, we've been working these guys real hard. We've been pushing them the first two days, and um, obviously today being day three, uh, we gave them uh, the option to do what they wanted after the ice session. So, you know, we uh, we got jammed up in time a little bit. We might have had one more drill today, but uh, we decided to cut it short because of the time, and um, they've been working real hard. They looked a little tired today, um, but all in all, the intensity level's been, uh, been fairly high, and, you know, we set a few different things for our game plan just so they're not complete chaos. Obviously, that first game is always with that many new faces around is going to be a little bit uh, chaotic um, but we try to give them a little bit of structure with a couple things uh, just so it's uh, uh, there's some tempo in the game. We talked a little bit uh, earlier in the week about the number of players in camp. Now it's at uh, 25 with uh, Jordan and Bennington joining the uh, the fray into that. When you look at the numbers of maybe Stockton who has 38 players, Fort Wayne traditionally has high numbers. Is this a more manageable number to understand the guys for the few numbers of cuts you have to make? Yeah, I mean, well, I, I'm not quite sure how these teams get that many. I mean, essentially you're allowed 24 and then tryout guys, right? So uh, we have a ton of 24. We have our 24 guys coming and, and we're comfortable with that number. You know, I, I don't, I'm not to the point where I want to split it and uh, ECHL rules kind of permit how many guys you can have. So, you know, we do like the number. It's a little high for one session, uh, for one group on the ice. It, it, it's a few extra bodies, but that's why we didn't go on the length of time we have. Talk about your new goaltender. I mean, OHL Goaltender of the Year. He's played for Canada under 20. Uh, second best goals against average in the OHL last year. Is he as good as advertised? Yeah, I think he's done an outstanding job, obviously. I had a, uh, the fortune to see him in uh, Chicago Wolves camp, um, and he held his own and did a great job. Um, you know, I know that St. Louis is very, very high on him and want him to get an opportunity to play some games. And, you know, he's got, uh, he's, he's still learning how to be a professional. I mean, that's part of being a young guy. You know, he hasn't done that. You know, he, he played under Mark Reed, so we had some conversations about uh, Mark already and uh, introductions. And, um, you know, he talks highly of Mark Reed as well. So, um, you know, he's under that pedigree. He wants it real bad. He's going to work real hard and stay focused. And, you know, we're going to keep him going. Finally, before we go through this now, it's like I said, 24 hours from now, it's going to be preseason. What's the focus going into tomorrow's game? Well, you know, each guy's brought in for their own reason, you know, so we're looking for guys to play their role and do what they do well. You know, they're all here because of a certain talent that they bring to the table, and, and we want to see that. You know, if you're a skilled guy, play with skill. You know, if you're a guy who's a bit of a grinder, make sure you're finishing checks. Everybody's got to finish checks even if you're not a grinder. But at the same time, you know, if the physicality comes to your game, play with physicality, you know, and we'll, we'll throw the lineup together uh, for tomorrow night and, uh, you know, with a little bit of structure, not too much because we don't want them thinking. We just want them to play. So you already know that not probably not too much the, the, the system in place. With preseason games, especially with Toledo in the past, you've been able to expand the roster a little bit. Is that a possibility for tomorrow? Uh, no, I've already talked to Toledo and we're going to keep it at 16, uh, 16 skaters and two goaltenders um, certainly for tomorrow's game. So the K-Wings getting set for the game on uh, Wednesday. We'll join you after that game here on the YouTube channel for the most up-to-date on your Kalamazoo Wings.